Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Element notation. Element notation? What is that? An element is a pure substance made up of only one type of atom. For example, gold is made up of only gold atoms. Silver is made up of only silver atoms. The periodic table of the elements is this grand image. The periodic table looks complex, but it is actually very simple. It is a list. It is a list of all the known elements, listed in order of their atomic number. To make it a bit more confusing, the list has been jigsawed around so that the elements are also listed by their electron configuration and also their recurring chemical properties. What is an atomic number? To explain this, let's look at the letters and numbers that we would find in the boxes that make up the periodic table. The rules are that in every box we have either one or two letters. These are the symbols used to save us writing the names of the elements. If there is one letter, or it is the first letter of that symbol, it is always written as a capital letter. The second letter is always written as a lowercase letter. The letters used could simply be the first letter of the element's name. For example, H is hydrogen, O is oxygen, C is carbon. Or it could be the first and second letters of the name. For example, CA is calcium. Or it could be the first and third letters of the name. For example, MG is magnesium. All the elements could be linked to a name or the ancient Latin or Greek names for the element. For example, NA is sodium after the new Latin natrium. K is potassium after the neo Latin callium. What are the numbers in the boxes? There are two. Apart from hydrogen, there is always a small number and a big number. To help understand what they mean, use this model. The small number links with the smallest letter. The smallest letter is A, that is the first of 26, so the smallest number. So we pretend that A stands for atomic number. The atomic number is the number of protons, the positively charged particles, in the nucleus of the atom. And... To make it even easier for us, the atomic number is also known as the proton number too. They are the same thing. For example, Al is aluminium, the small number being 13, so meaning there are 13 protons in the nucleus. How easy! And, knowing that atoms are neutral, i.e. they have no overall charge, because the number of positively charged protons balances the number of negatively charged electrons orbiting the nucleus, in aluminium, we know there are 13 positively charged protons in the nucleus. So there must therefore be 13 negatively charged electrons. So 13 protons balances 13 electrons, so making the atom neutral. So, the small number links with A, which stands for atomic number, which is also called the proton number and so also tells us how many electrons there are in the atom too. Wow! The other number, the big number, is called the mass number. What is the mass number? The mass number is also easy to remember, because another word for big is massive, and this number, the mass number, is the bigger, or more massive, or ginormous, of the two numbers. The mass number is worked out by adding together the atomic number and the number of neutrons that are found in the nucleus, giving us the mass number. Or, alternatively, if we start with the mass number, then subtract the atomic number, we can then calculate the number of neutrons in the nucleus. So using our example of aluminium, we know the symbol is Al, the atomic number is 13, and so the number of protons in the nucleus is 13. The number of neutrons is calculated by knowing the mass number, then subtracting the atomic number to give us the number of neutrons in the nucleus. So for aluminium, the mass number of 27 subtract the atomic number of 13 gives us 14 neutrons in the nucleus. That's amazing! Isn't this easy? Let's do another example. Sodium. We know the symbol is Na. 
the numbers are 11 and 23. The small number is 11. The large number is 23. Knowing the small number is the atomic number, there must be 11 positively charged protons in the nucleus. So the mass number, 23, subtract the atomic number, 11, gives us 12 neutrons in the nucleus of sodium. Wow! Time for the quiz! How many protons are there in fluorine? There are 9 protons in fluorine. How many electrons are there in fluorine? There are 9 electrons in fluorine. How many neutrons are there in fluorine? There are 10 neutrons in fluorine. Well done! Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!